Okay guys, so the palette that I'm using for this look is Box of Crayons and it's just perfect for that because the colors are so brilliant and uh, as you can see I already did um, this side and I'm just going to go right in and start with this green because I'm using uh, green and black and I even did my little nail, spooky nail where I made it like bloody. <laughs> I like to just play around with it. I'm still learning so it's all in fun. So how you guys doing? You having a pretty good day today? I'm going, I'm doing okay actually. I'm just going right in with this green. I'm just going to pat that right on my lid and I already primed it and everything. Um, so I'm just going to go right on in that shadow. And I'm starting, like I said, with the green. I'm just going to pat that on real good. And, um, ooh, and our topic today, guys, is after you find out a person's opinion on certain issues, does that change how you feel about them? Does their opinion make you think differently about them? How do you guys feel about that? That's what we're going to talk about. Okay. So then I'm going to just pull from this black on the corner and I'm going to put that right on the corner and just kind of blend into that green. Out. Oh, right. <laughs> so. so, yeah. Let's get started talking about this topic. You know what brought that up? Um, the topic to me was I was thinking back on uh, a, a friend of mine that I had. Um, we're no longer friends anymore, but we kind of lost touch. That's not the only reason why, but some of her views were kind of shady. <laughs> I shouldn't say shady, but they were just questionable, I, I would say. So, um, um maybe over a period of time she started to feel that way about certain things and that's why she felt that way because sometimes experiences that you go through make you feel a certain way and have a certain opinion about certain things so that you know that could be why you know she felt the way she felt but i don't know what do you guys think about that yeah, see, because I know it's like that with politics because I know, like, some people might, you know, have voted for um, Trump, and that's always a heated conversation right there because, you know, you find out that your friend um, values what Trump has to say. I'm just going to go in with this pink and now, guys, and then you're, like, surprised, but, you know, I don't know if that would change uh, my opinion of my friend because you know if you've got 20 years in with them and you know them then you kind of know you know but um i don't know coming in with a stranger 
you 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 can you kind of you kind of really don't don't know so but anyway tell me how you guys think about that issue you know what does your opinion change you start feeling a little different you know about them <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to go off, guys, now that I got my shadow kind of the way I want it to look. I'm going to go off, and I'm going to come back with some lashes. <laughs> okay, guys, I am back. And as you can see, I have my lashes on. So what do you guys think? <laughs> Pretty crazy, eh? <laughs> but I don't know. I'm really feeling the wing. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, so now that I got my lashes on, I'm just going to go in and do my contour. And I did it on this side, and I'm just going to do it on the other side. And I have my little brush over here, so. And I have this cute little brush that I got um, for my birthday. I told you guys, but I had bought a bunch of little brushes, different ones. Really pretty ones. Okay, and then for the lippy, for my lippy, I thought the lashes are the ones I want to steal the show. So we're going to go with another nude lip, but I'm going to add a little brown in it. So we're just going to go around. around my lips like so and I'm a lippy girl guys I don't really care too much for lipstick I always go with lippies <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in and put this really pretty nude in the middle And just blend those two together. They turn out really nice. I like the color. I always take my hand and just kind of, you know, smash them together. Okay, guys. So that's going to do it for this look. I'm going to do a little spritzer. And we're going to call this finish. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it and had as much fun doing it as I did. And I hope you have a blessed week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I have to show you guys this. See, I'm lighting. I'm surrounded by ghosts. You see? <laughs> Crazy me.